Today I'm going to talk about a topic that in my experience is often neglected when it comes to developing a great saxophone sound, an open and relaxed throat. The basic principle goes like this. If you, for example, push a heavy table, you often make this sound. And this basically means that your throat is closing. Also imagine you're at the dentist and you have all those tools in your mouth. You tend to close your throat to make sure you don't swallow anything you don't want to swallow. We have a similar reaction of our throat when we play the saxophone, either because we push against the reed and our throat closes, similar to pushing a table, or also because we have the mouthpiece in our mouth and similar to the dentist's situation, our throat is closing so we don't swallow anything we don't want to swallow. There's a very effective and quite simple exercise I'm going to show you today that will help you relax and open your throat while playing. And this can have immensely positive effects on your playing. It can lead to a fuller saxophone sound and also to play with more ease. This exercise that I like to call the hairdryer exercise goes basically like this. So what I just did is I let only the air flow through the mouthpiece without actually sounding the note. And the reason why this is called the hairdryer exercise is because we are aiming for a steady, warm airflow, just as a hairdryer. To test that you really breathe warm air, hold your hand in front of your mouth. It can also help to imagine that you're steaming up a cold window in the winter. Let's try this exercise with a musical phrase. In the following example, I'm going to play from the first G up to the second D and back. Now we play the same musical phrase, but without actually sounding the notes, just letting the air flow. As I mentioned before, we want to use a steady, warm air stream. Use really a lot of air, but make sure to use only warm air and keep your throat relaxed. Another very important aspect of this exercise is that no matter what kind of phrase and which notes you play, you want to have a completely steady airflow from the beginning to the end. I will demonstrate this using a simple bebop phrase. Now I will play this bebop phrase again only with air, without sounding the notes. And first I will play the phrase with a perfectly steady airflow, then I will play it with an irregular airflow and afterwards once more I'm going to play it with a steady airflow, just as a hairdryer would blow the air very steadily, so you can really hear the difference. This exercise you can apply to pretty much anything. For example, if you have a classical piece, divide the piece into sections. For example, four bars is always one section. Then you play these four bars one time normally, one time only with air and then another time normally. And then try to really sense for the effect this exercise has. Is it in any slightest way easier to play the note does the air maybe flow better? Does it maybe sound more musical? Any slightest change is a hint that you're on the right track. You can also play one phrase repeatedly only with air, but just make sure that you don't overdo it because you use quite a lot of air and then you're a little bit at risk of getting dizzy. Keep in mind through the whole exercise and also in general that playing the saxophone should never be difficult it should always feel easy. For myself and also for my students, 
I found that this exercise helps tremendously to play with more ease and also to let the air flow more, which is the basis for musical playing. Also, the sound opens up, meaning there are more overtones. I hope this exercise will have similar effects for you. If you make any interesting observations, feel free to comment and let us know about it. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and also follow me for further videos like this.